wondering why I'm in a robe and a towel. Um, I've had a few of you guys actually ask for like a hair routine, like a start to finish, how I do my hair. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. And I like legit just got out of the shower, so I am going to do like a right start from soaking wet to fully styled. So basically first, when your hair is sopping wet, I just like put it to the side and wring it out. Um, I'll kind of see if I like, show you. So like, just take like all your hair and like twist it and wring out like all any extra hair. And then I put it straight into a towel. Like this. And so I leave it up in the towel for about 10, maybe 20 minutes, depending on what I'm doing. So I just let it like absorb all the water and then I take it out. Okay, so I've left the towel in my hair for about 15 minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Okay, so this is my hair right out of the towel. You can see it's pretty damp still, but it's not soaking wet anymore at least, so that part is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just brush it out, just with like a regular paddle brush. And I'm just gonna kinda like part it where I will for when I um, style it, and just brush it out straight. Okay, so this is what looks like fully brushed out straight, and I have parted it kind of where I will style it from. Oh, and also, um, for those of you wondering, because I know I'm probably going to get some comments about it, um, for those of you wondering what products I used um, in the sh like for washing my hair, I will show you. Um, for shampoo, I used the Garnier Fructis Color Shield. The, it's the color treated hair shampoo. For me, I find this is one of the best store-bought shampoos that keeps red hair the longest. It doesn't wash out a ton of it when you shampoo, so this is the one that I use. It's really cheap too, it's like three or four bucks for this bottle. And for conditioner, I use the Herbal Essences Long-Term Relationship. And I let that sit in my hair from like two to five minutes in the shower just to let it really soak in as best as possible and focus it, of course, mostly on the ends. So what I do when it's fully brushed out, I actually take a argon oil, and mine's just from Avon. For my hair, I do about four pumps, just in my palm, four or five of those, and then I also take a heat protectant serum, and I have the Got To Be Crazy Sleek Flat Iron Lotion, and I do about four or five squirts of that as well. And it's just in my palm like this, and I just stir it up. And then just smush it between your hands and then apply it to... I start with the ends and go up. Okay, so once that's fully applied, I actually just let my hair air dry. Um, I do occasionally blow dry it, but I try to use as little heat as possible. So I am just going to let it air dry, and my hair is incredibly thick, and it takes about three hours to fully dry, so <clears throat> I have the time today to do it, so I'm just going to let it air dry, and I'll see you when it's done. One thing I almost forgot. I just take some bobby pins and I actually pin my bangs up because I part them so far from the side they tend to fall down very easily so I will bobby pin them up so that way they stay in place a little bit better. <clears throat> now the only problem with doing this is you can run into problems with having like the little grooves in your hair from the bobby pins in wet hair. I, per I honestly just deal with it because I don't want to cut my bangs, I want to grow them out a little bit more. Okay, so once you've got bobby pins in, then I am just going to let my hair air dry. So, two and a half hours later, 
And my hair is pretty much all the way dry. There's a couple damp spots at the very back by my roots there, but it's totally good. I'm gonna take out my bobby pins and just comb my hair through again, and then I am gonna straighten it. Okay, so now to start with the back combing, I use Got To Be's Powderful Volumizing Powder. And you just sprinkle this in your roots and kind of give it a bit of a rub, and that's it. It's really not coming out very well because I'm almost out. Um, basically what this does is it's like a, it's almost like a powdered wax, kind of, that's the best comparison I can think of. Yeah, you rub it in and it helps to keep your back home in for longer. So you don't have to keep re-back homing it and hairspraying all the time and everything. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start backcombing it all. Usually when I backcomb my hair, I like 99% of the time use Got To Be Glued, the yellow bottle hairspray, because it works amazing. But I actually like literally just ran out the other day and I haven't got any more because I have this one that I haven't tried yet. So I'm gonna be trying this one. It's the Got To Be Too Sexy Voluptuous Volume Hairspray. So we're gonna give that a try. So I think it looks pretty good. 
So yeah, that is my start to finish how I do my hairs. I hope this helped you if you're kind of interested in changing your routine at all or whatever, but yeah, this is for those of you who want it, so see ya. <laughs>